Good evening. Thank you for coming out tonight to offer your perspective on the high school assessments. We've gathered stakeholders from all across the state to frame tonight's conversation. We're excited for this unique opportunity to hear your thoughts and ideas. The 2007 high school assessment results are very promising. They tell us that the vast majority of students who have taken these courses have passed them. And in the next two years, we expect nearly all of the remaining 2009 eligible graduates to pass their tests in time to graduate. However, even with these outstanding results we have to date, it is possible that a relatively small number of otherwise eligible graduates may still be somewhat short of passing the tests, although we do not know that for sure. These are very complex issues. Dr. Grasmick presented to the state board a plan that will provide these students with a fair opportunity to meet the testing requirement for graduation without testing these students yet again. At the state board meetings in September and in October, the state board will discuss the plan and is expected to vote on it. It is not expected that it will be necessary, but for a few. Graduation tests aren't new to Maryland. We've had them for about 25 years. But the functional tests are so basic that most students pass them while still in middle school. We know that sixth grade standards just aren't good enough, not for the world the kids face today at the graduation. The current HSAs cover mostly 8th, 9th, and 10th grade level of work. And while the bar is set a little higher than with the functional tests, the HSAs still represent a performance floor. These tests were made by Maryland teachers, and I know our students can pass them. What we do in elementary and middle school and the MSAs leads to what students will study in high school. The HSAs are the gateway for what students will be expected to know in the world of work. Our teachers work with a common goal in mind, and that's preparing students for a life that will be even tougher than what I experienced after graduating from high school. The HSAs are the floor for most students and a challenge for other students. Regardless of what a student chooses to do after high school, they will be expected to have these skills. That's why the HSAs make sense. MSDE works with teachers from across the state to develop a basic statewide curriculum then local systems can add content to the state curriculum that they feel is valuable for their own students. MSDE only tests the core curriculum set forth in the state guidelines so that local school systems and teachers have the ability to customize their own curriculum. As a teacher, I can add even more materials to my courses for my students. This sets a reasonable standard for all teachers and students across the state. It gives teachers the guidance they want in shaping lessons and at the same time gives them the flexibility to shape these lessons for their own students in their own classrooms. Frankly, I still have ample opportunity to go well beyond the state standards to make sure that all of my students get what they need. For my students, the sky is the limit. The engineers and scientists here in Maryland are exceptional. The only problem we have is that that workforce is now at a point where many of them are eligible to retire even today. Uh, with the GRAC, uh, we know that there will be more need for engineers and scientists in areas other than aerospace, and so we in aerospace are going to have to compete for uh, the pool of engineers and scientists that are coming out of school. We recognize that these goals that have been set are goals that are rather basic, really, but we also feel that we're uh, beginning to uh, start looking toward higher goals. When we hire a young person out of high school for work, we want them to have the really basic skills, reading, writing, and arithmetic. We need for them to be able to read complex instructional manuals, and we need them to have good computer skills because those manuals are all on computers. We need them to be able to add and subtract, multiply, divide. We need them to be able to think on their feet. And we need them to have good communication skills. I think any employer in any industry today wants those basics coming in. And they need to be there for all industries, for Maryland to be competitive, not only from a local standpoint and the state, but to go nationally and for that matter globally. When students graduate from high school, from a Maryland high school, we want to know 
that they're prepared for college, that they've got a broad range of skills and knowledge. Well, the Maryland High School assessments represent the early expectations in high school, and they ensure that students get that broad range of skills and abilities that can help them to succeed in high school and to go on and do well in college. It's very encouraging. The high school assessments should not keep our students from graduating, especially if they know the material and have worked really hard in school. That's why the State Board of Education is considering options for struggling students, including students with disabilities, so they can show their understanding of the assessed material. We have fought long and hard for a quality basic education for all students in the state of Maryland. We must ensure that all students, especially those who struggle the most, have the basic skills. It is our responsibility to ensure that no child is allowed to pass through unnoticed without the education that he or she deserves. The high school assessments will help us achieve that goal. The State Board needs and wants your ideas on the high school assessments. For a long time, I struggled with the concept of an exit exam for high school graduation. Yet I've come to believe that high standards for all students is what we need for students who graduate. On behalf of the State Board, I want to thank you for bringing your thoughts and ideas to us tonight.